Literary genre can be considered as the cultural reflection of a certain historical stage. The evolution of literary genres is roughly based on the rise and fall of dynasties. China's pre-Qin prose, Tang poetry, Song Ci, Song poems, and so on, all have their unique characteristics. In the pre-Qin period, prose was prevailing. During that time, writings were characterized by the profuse expression of true feelings and the flexibility of the formats and patterns. It facilitated needs to record the different ideas and thoughts of different schools. Therefore, it is no surprise that essays and writings tinged with strong political colors, such as the Analects of Confucius, Mo Zi, Mencius, are all presented in this style. In the Han Dynasty, prose was further developed. Essays combining prose writings and rhymes became more popular, and a new format, fu, emerged and developed into the mainstream format of literature. The Tang Dynasty is one of the most prosperous as far as ancient Chinese culture is concerned. Poetry originated in the pre-Qin period became popular in the Tang Dynasty, known for its conciseness. Magnificent words and phrasing. Poetry has certain rhythms and rhymes that can better express one's thoughts and emotions. To name just a few, famous poets of the Tang Dynasty are Li Bai, the poet immortal; Du Fu, the poet saint; Bai Jui, the poet magician; and Li He, the poet wizard. In the Song Dynasty, poetry evolved into a genre called Ci, which was essentially song poems composed for banquet and such events. There were strict rules on the number of sentences and words, and on the intonation of each word. As is once said, sound is one of the basic forms to convey aesthetic information. Song Ci is considered as a kind of music literature, whose musicality is of high aesthetic value. According to different writing styles, Song Ci is composed of two schools: bold and unconstrained, and graceful and restrained. The former was led by representatives such as Su Shi and Xin Qiji, while the latter includes poets such as Liu Yong and Li Qingzhao. Yuan Dynasty is known for its drama literature, Yuan Qu, literally song, including poetic drama and various songs. The dramas and plays of Yuan Dynasty are rich in subjects and characters, and are flexible and diverse in creation as well. The most popular ones include Ma Ji Yuan's Autumn in the Han Palace and Wang Shifu's The Romance of the Western Chamber. Autumn in the Han Palace is also referred to as the apparition of a lonely goose in a dark dream in the autumnal Han Palace, which describes a tragic love story between the Emperor Yuan of Han and his concubine Wang Jiao Drin. Romance of the Western Chamber. Also translated as the story of the Western Wing, tells a story that a gifted scholar and a beautiful lady falling in love at first sight, but have to overcome lots of obstacles to finally get married. In the Ming and Qing dynasties, with the development of the economy, there were increasing cultural needs and demand. Hence, novel as a literary genre prevailed. Novel during that time focuses on the description of characters and reflects social life through a complete storyline and environmental description. The four great classical novels of ancient China: Romance of the Three Kingdoms, Journey to the West, Water Margin, and Dream of the Red Chamber, were all created in this period.